Hey friends, I'm doing a real quick video because my videos are really ever quick, but I'm gonna try to make this quick because anyway. Um, but this is gonna be this is gonna be a tutorial on how to get like very simple um, summer makeup that has some good coverage, but it's also very good for summertime and also has some SPF and I don't I can't find my waterproof mascara and want eyeliner, but um, if you do have that, you can always switch for that. If you don't have to use waterproof, you don't want to, but it's totally up to you. I'm just going to start by applying my chapstick because you want to have soft lips when you already put on your lip stuff. So I'm just using my U.S. lip balm in a honey, cycle like honeydew. Um, so that way my lips are getting smooth and stuff so I can let this soak in while I'm makeup. So I'm going to do eyes first. I'm going to do it and pry, pry my eyes using my Pure Pure Minerals um, color correcting primer. I use this all to my brow bone. Just like that. Kind of corrects the color and stuff like that. Oh. And then I'm going to um, take this fluffy flat shader brush from LA Colors, and you can just get any um, flat shader brush you like. I'm taking my palette from Estee Lauder, and this is the Pure Color Eyeshadow Palette. And this back of this really confuses me, so I'm not sure how to read the colors on here, but this looks like this. My aunt gave this to me, and it was brand new, but I actually use all the colors. And it just has some really pretty, nice, natural colors in here. I absolutely love this palette. It's like my favorite, so I'm using these two and mixing them together. And just kind of mix those two if you're liking. I'm going to take this color right here. Um, this might be lavish mink. I'm not really sure because the back, the back of this doesn't really match up the colors of this. I'm not really sure how to read this because, like I said, the colors are messed, like, I'm not messed up. I just don't want to read it because it's not like exact like it is in the palette. And then for just a little bit of color, I'm going to take, um, where'd that brush go? I'm going to take this brush right here. I'm going to um, take this color. And I don't know what the color is. I'm just going to LA blend that in the crease. This is just a really gorgeous color. I actually love this. You can use some brown, so we're gonna do in a minute. I'm gonna take this one. I think this might be called hot cinnamon shimmer. Hot cinnamon shimmer, right here. It looks like a cinnamon color. Take a little bit of that. Okay, now for the face. I'm going to want to actually um, curl our lashes and stuff. And then I can't find my um, water to this mascara, but um, you can always switch it from that. I can't find. But you guys can use falsies. I know that I know they have this waterproof. I'm just gonna use this really quick. This mascara is getting. I found this for so long. It's getting really dry. Oh, I'm gonna go back and get the Mega Plush mascara. I'm gonna go back to the drugstore and some other things. I've been eyeballing. 
so that's that. Okay, now onto face cream. I want to moisturize, and we're using this um, one. This is, has SPF 15 in it. Take a little pump of that. My fingers. You guys can see the eyes are just really simple. It has a little bit of color, but it's not actually noticeable. But if you get close, you guys can see that it's there. Then to start, I'm going to conceal using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and this is in 15 Fair. And I absolutely love how this conceals my under eyes. They're like it like diminishes them. They're like gone, and I like how this works. Make sure and blend it down under your eyes as well, like down here. See how that brightens them. Okay, we're going to add, going to add, going going to go ahead and use this as. This as well. Just poke this. Let's see, that's how ugly I am. With acne scarring. With like, whatever. And I take my Eco Tools brush, Eco Tools, and this, I love how this covers. I like to use brushes to cover up any spots on my face because I think it gives better coverage than just your finger. Because your finger kind of is warm. Your fingers are warm and it kind of like melts it off, melts it off your face. And I like how this, it blends it, but it doesn't like completely take it off. And this is just slight coverage, which usually works good enough for me during the day. They're taking the Per Minerals um, Pressed Mineral Makeup. This also has SPF 15. This is in white because I'm pale, like as a bird. This lining is real good. And then I'm taking my Avon Kabuki brush, dabbing it in there, tapping off any excess. And then swing it like this. Gives a little bit extra coverage if you do this. With mineral makeup, I heard that if you swirl it, it gives. Flawless coverage. Not sure what's I heard. You should respond this all over. Perfect. And then to add a little bit of kind of like flush of color to my skin, I'm using my June Bouncy Blush. And this is in 30 Candy Coral. And smile a little bit. And a little bit of flush to flush of color to your cheeks. And then I like to take this stippling brush and blend it out better. I don't like to use blush this brush. This really gives it a nice, like, even blush color. And then um, for gloss, just gonna using this little squeezy tube from Marisa's. I'm not sure how you say this, but that's what it looked like. This is in Raspberry Sorbet. Take a little bit. 
it smells like really fruity raspberry. It smells like raspberry ice cream, like sorbet. That's hence the name of that. And this. My lips are really chat, but that just gives like a nice frosty um, raspberry-ish color. I just swapped for you so you can see better. It's really sheer, but it does give a really nice sheen to your lips. I think it's really nice. That's the color right there. It's really, really like shiny and really sheeny. And also, um, I usually switch between this one and my MAC one as well. This is the lip gloss from Viva Creme Gaga. It's like a really really bright pink. I use that out too. And if I want to add eyeliner, I either like on my lash line or a tight line, which I do that a lot too. But yeah, this is my makeup look for simple summer makeup. And if you guys in this video, sorry it's really long, but I really want to do one and I did I feel like editing. I don't feel like editing here lately. I just wanna do it and get it up so I can get more videos on my channel, but yeah. That's that. I'm sorry I'm chewing gum, I just yeah, I just really like gum. Have you guys been dropping? Have you guys noticed I've been dropping a lot of stuff in my videos? Let's see these. Or I use my Jordana Lip Shine Natural Glaze and Watermelon Punch. This is similar to Stila, and it's like it's one of those twisty, twisty ones. I love this too. It's like a really like a like a bright fuchsia. See, it gives a nice brighter color. And then after like the gloss goes away, it still stains your lips, which I really like about it. So like after that gloss is gone, it just really gives your lips a nice, beautiful stain. And then you get all of your lips like this. So. I like, I've been using this a lot off and off, but I'm sorry I share this one, but I like, like this look too, it's like a bright red, but it's like watermelony, and it kind of tastes like the watermelon candy as well, which is a plus. So I hope you guys like this video, and I'm going to go, because I'm going to watch some television on the boob tube, or the same thing, right? Yeah, quit looking at So, um, I will talk to you all later. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you later.